British singer Amy Winehouse dragged herself off a mound of cocaine to watch her husband have his bail denied by a British court on Friday. Winehouse burst into tears and blew kisses at her hubby, repeatedly mouthing, I love you. Blake Fielder Civil, her husband, was arrested earlier this month for trying to bribe a pub owner who was going to testify against him in an assault case. Joining us now to talk about this and other important stories is our old friend, America's funny man, Neil Hamburger. His latest CD, Hot February Night, came out earlier this year. Hi, Neil. How you doing, Greg, huh? I'm doing great. Hey, I want to ask you about uh, Amy Winehouse. Do you think this, this problem with her husband is going to stop her from having a white Christmas? Well, you know, I feel sorry for her. I don't know about Christmas. I don't know that any of us can really uh, enjoy that anymore. But, uh, but I'll tell you what, this woman is getting uh, a lot of uh, disdain from folks like uh, myself and you that she does not deserve. Because uh, I wish that I had my, my ex-wife, she wouldn't even come to my shows, let alone uh, come visit me in jail or in the courthouse or that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yes. This is a really wonderful, loyal woman. It's true. She is. But do you, you notice that she's getting progressively skinnier? Why is that? Well, it's distracting. You know, your husband gets in a bar fight, and the next thing you know, he's up. He's facing life imprisonment for that. Yes. I mean, what about the guy that made Garfield too? He's he's off the hook. Yeah, that guy isn't facing a day of, of jail. <laughs> that's so true. The laws are just. I've had people throw. I've had people throw punches at me at my shows. They didn't do any time. That's they got free tickets. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Let me. Let me. I want to ask you about uh, Girls Gone Wild uh, founder Joe Francis. He claims he was tortured by guards during his brief stay in an Oklahoma prison. He says the guards threatened to strap him naked to a chair with only a hole for defecation for 48 hours. Uh, is that torture to you, Neil? Well, you know, it's true. They, they tortured him, but they, they stopped as soon as he handed over the outtakes. Oh, interesting. But no, no, on, honestly, though, that is, you know what? It, they took away his toilet, yes. and I thought that was torture. But I'll tell you what, uh, uh, I, I, I felt sorry. I felt sorry for the man who had no toilet mm -hmm. until I met the man who had no bowel. Mm, interesting. And that's, you got, you got to look on the bright side uh, of this sort of situation. Do you, ever, do you ever run into like a Girls Gone Wild scenario when you're on tour? Do women often flash their breasts at you? We had a girl who threw up uh, in my lap uh, <laughs> in St. Louis earlier this year. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> was like, did it, you well, enjoy it was that? warm. It was warm. <laughs> She had been eating spaghetti. No. You know, if, it, if she'd had a Mai Tai and did that, then you're, then you're in trouble. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> exactly. I want to talk to you briefly about the Spice Girls. Tickets for their UK concerts are going for less than a third of face value, and their comeback single, Headlines, isn't exactly burning up the charts. Uh, what about you? How do you feel about this? Well, you know, they, they, they have 18 sold-out shows, and there's a few leftover tickets for the 19th show that... Are, that uh, aren't selling and so people think the sky is falling. I mean, we should all be so lucky to sell the kind of tickets that these uh, horrible uh, women are selling. <laughs> Who's your favorite Spice Girl? Oh, I guess it's somewhere, uh, somewhere between Abysmal Spice and Walnut Spice. I haven't decided. <laughs> yeah, you live, uh, you live out in LA. Do you run into Posh at all? Well, I, I, I don't run into her, I swerve, you know, because I have enough uh, convictions on my record. <laughs> I want to, believe me. I want to run over all of them out here. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yes. Uh, so are you on, uh, are you, when he's touring next, where are you going? Oh, I'm doing a show right here in town. I've got a new uh, variety cabaret type show. Uh, trying to bring the glamour and prestige of Reno-style entertainment to this little town at last. Mm. So we're doing that this uh, Sunday with uh, Fred Armisen and uh, a lot of other young, hot acts, Mr. Tom Green. This is all taking place at Spaceland, which is a very clean uh, nightclub. No rats, mice, any of that. Oh, that's excellent. That's it. And are you still eating well? Well, I, you know, I camp, I'm kind of sick right now because I spent the whole night camping out in front of uh, Best Buy so I could be first in line to, to buy a banana. <laughs> That's and, nice. Uh, but, uh, you know, to get the discount and all that, but it was sold out. So. Oh, that's too bad. No, I'm eating very poorly. A lot of ice cubes, a lot of iceberg lettuce. Yeah.
<laughs> Excellent. Well, congratulations on the new CD and good luck with your tour, Neil Hamburger. You're America's funny man, as always. I'm trying. I'm trying. And, and thank you very much for having me back once again to sully up your uh, sterling show. Oh, excellent. All right. Thank you, Neil. Coming up next, I'll read your emails and see our funnier moments over and over again by getting our newsletter. Go to our website. It's foxnews.com slash red eye. Signing up is free. And if you want to shoot us an email, send it to red eye at foxnews.com. If it's good, we might read it. <laughs>